This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm on my way back here with another episode of AI Somnium. I've just been, uh, sorry, I've been very rude to this girl. I've just been staring at her, uh, cavicle and, uh, and, uh, femur for a while, and, uh, I just can't help myself. Uh, maybe I'm a bonophile. Who knows? Or I have bonophilia. Whatever. Anyway, let's, uh, get back to it. We've been, we're in the Sea King Mermaid place, because... I don't know. What are we doing with our lives? Anyway, let's talk to Oda. He's just as bad as we are. Maybe he's our kin. Maybe we can teach him the ways of Date. Anyway, let's uh, ask him about the the visitor. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessa used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. Iva, call Iris. <laughs> are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. No way. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Something wrong, sir? No, nothing. I wonder if Tess is okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. You look like you can eat just fine. Well, you gotta live somehow, and uh, I like how that, that mermaid girl is like friends with friends with iris to an extent but she doesn't have her own name she's just called mermaid uh, the problems with being a, a random npc side character oh we can i guess we're done with this place so all right we're, we're done with you people i have spoken date renju is not at this location we have other areas we need to search yeah you're right yeah, we were we were here just to find Renju, and then we found out that Iris is somewhere. But I guess that's not our immediate concern. So, oh, did I? I thought I checked the doorway. The door I came in. Huh. And I guess sometimes you miss late. Ooh. Oda's sitting opposite me. Oh, I thought they had like new dialogue for it or something like that. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess really the only reason to look at stuff now it seems like to either get like random details about the world or uh, um. I possibly get trophies from staring at certain things. Um, go to our home, or go to the marble. Now eh, let's go home first. Let's look at the abode, abode de Date, or whatever. Will it be the the perverse hellscape that we think it is? Let's find out. The Date residence. Tomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Yes, but why? Oh, Date, sorry for showing up like this. Izuki, what are you doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. I received a Nile message from Izuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. 
I assume Mizuki has a key to this place. How else would he get the hell to get would have gotten in here? I don't believe I believe those are got that's gotta be air or fake weights. No way she's bench pressing that. I'm sorry, even in anime terms, I find that ridiculous. Uh anyway, let's uh look around our abode. Three seat sofa, huh? A three seat sofa I also use as a bed. I've been sleeping here for four years. Mizuki took over my bed. Well, that's not cool. Uh man, think of the back problems you must have. There's a three-seat sofa in the center of the room. Ooh, school bag. A backpack. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. Yep. Mizuki school backpack. Yeah, they grow up so fast that you have to spend, like, a lot of your money to spend just, uh, upgrading their clothes and everything like that because they grow, like, every day, it seems like. Until, uh, well, depending on the age, usually it's around, like... Like, right around uh, 17 or 18. Although some people tend to grow a little bit longer than that. Anyway, let's get this iron pipe. Time to beat some ass with that. Mizuki's favorite metal pipe. I was actually going to make a reference to Final Fight, but I have no idea what she uses it for. Mizuki's favorite metal pipe on the wall. Hmm. Yeah, there's... Oh, he's only got... Oh, is that her? Oh, yep. So they've only got two, one set of clothes for each. Nothing. So no variety here. Or they just don't want to code in or, or draw any more clothes. Mizuki's clothes of mine hang on the rack. We each have basically one outfit. That's because we're rational people. I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. Okay, honestly, Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. Yeah, we just don't want to code them into the game. My clothes are Mizuki's. Hmm. Well, I don't have... I have different clothes myself, but that's only because people have given me clothes over the years, so I'm like, eh, I might as well wear them. But I don't... The only clothes I ever actively buy are, like, socks and stuff like that. Whoops. I see you two hang your clothes side by side. You get along well. I forgot to read that. Sorry, I was, wasn't paying attention. Clothes are hanging on the rack. It said something else. I hope you were reading the, the game while I was doing that. The light of the autumn day is coming in through the window. Mm. The light of the autumn day. To the setting of the sun. Corkboard. There's a corkboard on the wall. Oh, computer? Computer? Now you have to type it in. A PC. You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? I heard from Mizuki. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Training videos? Yes. A female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Ah, yes. Yeah, that. Right. But Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't touch my computer without asking. You know, you could just parental, parental code it, you know. It's not that hard. A PC. I have lots of training videos on here. What, did they all have start with a girl runs into Pizza Boy or something like that? A desk. Uh, bench press. A bench press. Whoops. I didn't mean to click it again. Uh, Mizuki. Look. How long do you How plan long? on doing that? Until my muscles are screaming at me to stop. You there yet? No. Not even close. My muscles are laughing like this is nothing. Date, I would not push Mizuki while she is in this state. You may end up killed via head injury. Yeah, you're right. Why are all the young girls in this game jackasses to the main character? I was going to just say jackasses because they are, but, you know, the comedy and all that. File cabinet. A fo small file cabinet. I kept a bunch of documents there. Documents, you say? Ooh, a large speaker. Large speakers. Oh, no extra comments, huh? This is a nice sound system. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple of million yen. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. You did what? See, she's a little hellion. That's not cool. Audio equipment for an audio file. Haven't paid it off yet. How much? You said a million yen, so that's got to be like... Well, like I said, I don't remember the conversion. That's like quite a bit. I mean... That's, I, won't, I don't know if I call that cheap, but... Eh, let's see. No, that's all the same thing. Ooh. A door that rabbit? stuffed animal. It's Mizuki's favorite character. What's its name again? Yeah, that's Adorabbit. 
You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry? Uh, you're talking to yourself. A door rabbit? That's how it's pronounced? Hmm. It's a door rabbit. A stuffed rabbit. Well. Oh, there's the bed. Oh, that's not much of a bed, so. Mizuki sleeps there every night. I wonder if she has back pains, because that doesn't look like a very good bed, but. I'm not an expert on beds, mind you. Lighting. Oh, I thought you said lightning. So we're just going to have a dour character from. That uh, that's basically a male, a female version of Cloud. The entrance, although I, well, never mind. That's an unusual pattern on this cushion. Oh, don't touch that. That's Date's drool. Well, it doesn't look like that much drool. A cushion on the sofa. Maybe I'll talk about the Final Fantasy series one of these days if I ever decide to play through one of them. I don't know if I do have to do one of them. Which one I would do? Probably four or six, maybe kitchen. There are season, uh, seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. Because those are probably my favorite. Well, nine's up there too. I don't know. It's a pot. It's dot. Condiments. Seasoning and sake, sake for cooking. I was about to say sake for cooking. An oven hood. Mm. Hood. Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Why do you have so much meat in there? Oh, I'm on a diet. You see, I'm I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I am impressed you actually got a laugh. What did you see? She just seems seems like a very nice and uh, pleasant woman who's just laughing to help help our ego a bit. My refrigerator. It's packed with beer, food, and a bunch of meat. What's wrong with meat? Oh, table. Hi, a coffee table. At the top is glass. What, we, humans are omnivores, man. We gotta eat a combination of things. Date, is it true? Mizuki told me you hid a magazine under the rug. Something about eating a nice spread? Why did you hide a cooking magazine? Well, this, this game really tries to get away with all the sexual innuendo, doesn't it? A rug. A nice spread. You know, munching carpet. You know, I could go on. A one seat sofa. I guess that's it for that, because otherwise it's Mizuki or. Let's ask about uh, Mizumi, I guess. Or Mizumi. Mizuki. About the Nile message. When I started talking to her, Mizuki re racked the weight. Mizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. And, uh, I don't know why it took forever the, the, uh, thing up here. Um, but you took Oda along? Oda? The guy who looks like a shrimp? Yeah, he was gonna help fight off homeless and, and other, other ne'er dwellers. Yeah, of course. Uh, about your phone. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was Teacher who stayed with me all night. Well, we thought you were in the hospital, you know, you need a... You need to calm your tits, dude. Why, why didn't you tell me about it? Tell me. I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. You know what? There, there's there's, a, there's a, a string of things. Like, if your parents didn't listen to you, kid, 
then and then you make fun of her. I had a, I had a theory here because she says about not listening. Well, it's like, well, your parents didn't listen to you, and I'm not listening to you. Perhaps you're not saying anything that's worth listening to. Did you ever think about that? Anyway, why are you holding an ice pick? When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Have you, have you also noticed that the game has a has a weird issue with tonal shift sometimes because you can have a conversation where she's insulting you and then the next conversation depending on how we choose it will be a dour situation about dealing with a pulling the murder weapon out of her mom's eye you know i guess life is like that but it just it just seems a little out of place sometimes like like uh it should be a set of conversations like you have the jokey conversations first and then the serious ones or but or you switch them ah, i don't know what am i talking about I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. It was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Hmm. I wonder who took it. Anyway, uh... Oh, I didn't know we could x-ray x-ray the lady. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, look at that clavicle. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, I didn't, I, you know, I just noticed that she has a, like a fake, uh, oh, a shoulder plate or whatever. Now, is her arm bad and they put the shoulder plate in it to set it? Or is it the, I've heard of, I've heard of things like old, um, surgeries that have happened to people that the material that they use inside the body ended up like the body would attack the um the metal piece depending on the metal that was in it because it they didn't clean it right or something like that so it caught so they'd have to it caused like more damage than it was supposed to fix and sometimes they have to have surgery to pull the thing back out i don't know all the details i've just heard some interesting stuff anyway look back nice. to the plot a plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder Oh. Uh, wait, is, wait, what? What was he thinking it was, it was supposed to be? It told me it was a metal plate in her right shoulder. Eh, it's still hot, though. Eh. Eh, let's keep asking Mizuki stuff and then we'll bug the teacher about Renju. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. Oh. Where is Renju? I don't know where he is. Can you think of anywhere he might go? No, not really. I don't know where Daddy goes. Did he visit you when you were in the hospital? No. But I didn't expect him to. He's always busy. He doesn't care about me. I mean, heck, I didn't visit you in the hospital either, so... I don't care about you either. Iris? I don't know. Why are you asking? It's nothing. Mizuki must not have been watching the stream last night. It appears that way. Hmm. But tell me. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. You're being an enabler. Don't be an enabler. Mizuki's on the bench press. 
You're an enabler. You're a terrible teacher. No. <laughs> How's Mizuki at school? She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. Didn't, um... Don't schools not use like I mean, she released the frogs, so she released a bunch of dead frogs. Because, uh, at least in America, they uh, they don't give you live frogs to dissect, or at least not when I went to school. I think they used to back in, the, like, the... Back in the day, they used to give you, like, live animals like that. Like, well, live animals isn't frogs and snakes and stuff like that. But I think after a certain point, schools used to used to just buy the frogs from... Well, when they had money, bought the frogs from certain medical facilities that had, like, freeze-dried uh, uh, animals like that to uh, dissect. You had to learn biology some way, people. Anyway, how'd you get her talking again? Did you threaten her with violence? You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher. And then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Well, fine is relative in this case. You're her teacher? <laughs> we asked that last. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki's school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me, but I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. That was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking a Mizuki. Ah, being a, being a legal guardian without any of the, like, legal paperwork? I was about to say sign me up, but no, especially not this kid, anyway. Is this just a coincidence that you're Mizuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes. At Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right. A district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here. Fr pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Well, depending on where this takes place, which... Has this actually game actually... Anyway, uh, most train systems in other countries, like, a. Uh, Japan, and I think even in China, th there might be other places are like a lot more, whoops, I hit my mic, uh, better implemented than they are in America. We used to use trains all the time, but at some point it got switched to cars, probably a combination of the car industry as well as oil and gas is why that happened, but, uh, well, in our country it's pretty huge too, so, but you think that'd be perfect for trains, anyway. Uh, pardon me for asking, but your right arm. Oh, does it bother you? Can you not move it? No, I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died, and... Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. He was carrying a gun. From the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. 
just a random crime. What? The dream I saw. Mm, I wonder. I have a theory, but like I said, I'm not gonna say anything now. Man. So that's why, so the plate was to just keep the... Well, I bet if they didn't do the plate, I bet something like they probably would have had to amputate the arm if they didn't do something like that. I assume, I could be wrong, but anyway, where is Renju? Renju? I don't know. Really? Hitomi does not appear to know that Renju was hospitalized either. No one knows about this, uh, this Renju fellow. Hmm. Where's Iris? She's been at home, I think, since Sunday. Really? Well, I can't say for sure. I don't know her exact schedule. Did you hear from her last night? No. I was with Mizuki all night. Why? Did something happen? No, it's nothing. Hmm. Well, time to get out of here. I think we learned all we can. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. Hmm. Well, time to leave. Bye, kid. Alright, time to go to Marvel. Time to get the heck out of here. Then we learned some information, and, we, and it was funny. It was just cured, just like that, without any involvement of us at all. I wonder if that's well. Actually, she doesn't have a funny if we choose the other path in her, in her somnium. So never, so yeah. Uh, so never mind. I doubt. I doubt the. Well, never mind. Well, well. If it isn't Dante, long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. Ren meaning Renju Okiura. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. I've seen this trope quite often in a lot of... I'm trying to think of all the anime that have it. See, the... Uh, did the... Uh, uh, I, actually, did I even show that game or not? I think I just showed the beginning and end of that game. Uh, the Akihabara... RPG game or whatever had uh, someone running a bar like this as well. Uh, Persona 5 does this game. I know there's quite a few. I just I don't I can't name all of them. On you, well I don't know if I call it a trope. I would call it a trope maybe in Japanese, just anime in general, you know. Uh, but uh, well you know, they all come from somewhere. I don't know where I was going with that, frankly. I just wanted to point that out. TV. There's a TV on the wall. Hey, Date. Wanna watch Men in Fundoshi's pounding drums? No, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, it looks like you've got the same... Mamas has the same, like, uh... Uh... Joke style as Date does. I think you and Pewter would get along, maybe. Well, at least with, with, your, with what you like. There's a TV on the wall. Counter. The bar counter. What do you think this counts? Bars? I do not appreciate your pun. Most people don't appreciate puns. Me and the, uh, counting me. The bar counter. Menu. It's a menu. It has it was written on the back. Shelves. There are bottles of alcohol on the shelf. Oops. No, it didn't have anything on it. Shell, 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 shell. Bottles on the counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Well, good, good for that. And we got Mama. Oh, we got a picture of Jesus Christ Superstar. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Was he crucified? Well, I can't really tell. You can kind of see binding on his arms there. And uh, you can see... It looks like you can see arrows striking him. Man, I forgot how... how uh, uh, how different art was back in the uh, back in the day, man. Look at that. Yeesh. Like I said, you'd almost if you didn't notice all the other stuff, you'd think it was a male model of some sort. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. 
just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah, it was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, old... I'm trying to think of what art style that's called, but yeah, you can... Well, I guess with well, some modern art could be kind of similar to that, too. It just You can just kind of tell art styles and what time period it is. There's just such a the jostling jump in between like what people depicted and stuff like that. A painting of Saint Sebastian. Apparently it's a gift from Renju. Hmm. Blackboard. The specials are written on the chalkboard. Duck women's upper lip. What type of drink is that? The special written on the chalkboard. Okay. Radio. There's music playing over the radio. Okay. Music kills the radio star. My goodness. Mama. You've changed since I last saw you. You're such a square now. Excuse me, that is a fridge. Okay, I don't know what the... Is it because the refrigerator is the same color scheme as her? Maybe? I don't know. Or Actually, was Mama... Is Mama a cross-dresser or... Or... Trans? Or it's, it's hard to tell because there is a difference between the two. I'm not sure. He just calls her Mama, so we'll just go with that. I guess it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's just one of those things. Because, like, there's some people, like, uh, what is it, um, Ed Wood's a good example of a person who liked cross-dressing women wearing dresses, but he never saw himself as a woman, you know what I mean? So, because there's some guys like to wear women's clothing, so. What was it, uh, there was, like, a My Python sketch about that, like, about a lumberjack. Anyway, there's a poster on the wall. Ben and Clyde do right by me. I wonder what that is. I don't know. There's a poster on the wall. Great. Fire. Oh, flyer. I thought it said filler for a second. A flyer. Wait. But that says F L I E R. Well, he spelled it the way, well, at least the American version, which is F L Y E R. Okay. I guess it's not a big deal. At least, like I said, this game doesn't have a whole lot of. Well, at least I haven't really noticed any major um, spelling errors. So, at least, they, at least whoever did the proofreading did a pretty good job on it. A sofa. At least. At least that I've noticed, anyway. Like I said, I'm not a not an English uh, major or anything. A stool, but I did. But it was funny pointing at all the uh, proofreading errors and that one VN. That was the one few things I enjoyed about that. There's a table in front of the sofa. Uh, well, I guess that's it. All right, let's we'll make this a little bit longer episode since it looks like this section is kind of small. So let's talk to Mama. Hey, Mama. Or hey, hey, Mama. How are you think? Mm, I forgot this, how the song goes. Uh, it's an old song. It's like, um, hey, mama, go around the catch a mouth. Down, down. Oh, sorry. She runs the place. We call her mama. Okay, he's calling her her, so. Uh, she might technically have the body of a man, but she's got a man's heart. Okay, well, that, that sums up right there. There you go. She belongs to a, pro, a lot of pro LGBT groups and the like. Oh, well, they, well, the game basically spelled it out for me. All I did was look at the girl and find out, so. Well, hey, you know. Sometimes you gotta question things before you're told it, just to, just to kind of keep your mind sharp, you know what I mean? Can you get me a glass of water? Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up, you make people throw up the truth. Shouldn't you not be drinking like, all the time? Because isn't alcohol like a bit, well, well, we already know, we already know what the drinking all the time does. So we'll leave it at that. How have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows, sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight, you remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. About a watch? Hmm. I wonder what the significance of that is. 
Anyway, where's Renju? Tell me. Swear to me. It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? A lot of things. I told Mom about the accident. And about how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh, no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. Well, there you go. About Shoko. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. I feel like that information's way too late to be the the what it is, but you eh, can't leave out any options, I guess. That Renju watch. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. You know, I don't know everything about Shoko, but it sounds like she was kind of like, uh, well, then again, Renju is no, no spring chicken either. Let's just say that they're, they've got their own problems. So I could see why, why things happened as they did. Mama spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Drunk people tend not to be too careful with secrets and rumors. You know how it is. So a place like this is perfect for gathering information. Whether it's politics, business, entertainment, even crime, Mama knows it all. Whenever I get stuck in an investigation, I come see her. She's got all the clues. Oh, I guess that's it. What are you doing, by the way? Polishing Bonito. It is not well known, but dried Bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Yeah. Then again, I, I, I'm talking about the mold stuff, but then again, we eat cheese and cheese has, well, depending on what type of cheese you eat, has bits of mold on it, so. Mama is wide as her heart is big. That's the mama I know. It was probably from drinking too much alcohol. Alcohol is very fatty, you know. But anyway, summarize for me, mama. Hey, mama, Shoko don't be coming. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. So we have to go meet the Kumakuras, huh? So what are they what have they got in store for us? Are they possibly the real culprits of Shoko's murder? Or is it just a, a going about in a different direction to take us off the trail? Find out next time in the next episode of AI the Somnium Files. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.